Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm sharing with you what I went through on 10-24-2024 um, Thursday. So I had a very scary incident happen. Um, I asked my, uh, actually the State Farm agent when I was trying to pay my bill, said, hey, would you like to try the drive safe and save? You'll save like 27% monthly. So I talked to him about it because I didn't want to, but I thought, why not, right? I'll give it a try. So I said, why not? I'll give it a try. And then if I don't like it, I'll just take it off. He's like, okay. So he did it. So then I pay the bill of, you know, it's due on that date I'm calling him on the 24th of October, right? And I pay it, and then he gives me the confirmation number through the email. And then um, he says, yeah, I already set it up. And so he just told me, yeah, whenever you get time, just set up a drive safe save account on the State Farm app, download the State Farm, and then download the link from the email, the drive safe and save app. So I did immediately. Okay. So right when I hung up about 10.30 a.m. on the 24th of October, I hang up. And then I'm like, uh, I check the email for the confirmation number of me paying the bill, right? So I was like, okay, I'll just click on the um, drive uh, safe and save um, link to download the app now. I was going to do it because he says, yeah, just do it when you get home. So I told him, yeah, I'm at the VA. I'll drive home which is like, says, you know, 20 minutes ran, away, and then I'll download the Drive Safe and Save app, um, and so the State Farm app, I was going to do that too. Well, I actually already had it. But, so I was going to download both those apps, but instead I didn't, not knowing that he didn't tell me that you have to, um, when you right now you can't your car is frozen and you can't go anywhere until you create an account linking and create an account on the drive safe and save app right now or you'll be stuck at the va until you do so he didn't tell me that because he said he didn't have that knowledge which i believe him and the lady said yeah you know so, but this is after the fact, yeah, hindsight. So for two hours, drive, the car was saying what you're seeing, that it can't, it's stopped, hybrid system is stopped, and the AC Freon would not come out, and the car would not go in reverse so I could park closer to my VA doors to go in to use a latrine and come back out and leave and go home 20 minutes away. So I put it in reverse over and over. I tried and, and I did the prompts the Toyota computer you're seeing told me to do over and over. And I was panicked because I was thinking, you know, the news has been telling us we're going to have smart cars, smart cities, and it's going to be linked to our bank account. And if you do any social app wrong things and your score is low, they can freeze your car, freeze your bank account. You know, and if you do criminal acts, then they can, you know, freeze your car, bank account, and home, whatever, right? You can't go shopping or anywhere. So I was like, wow, so this is happening to me, and I'm getting a sample of what the future will be if we elect the wrong, evil, bad, negative energy, unbalanced energy leaders. That the Seven Sacred Flames book says, I believe, on page XXX, uh, I or XXX. I, 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 one of those, right? So please buy that book and turn to page 58 and page 86 and 87 and page 186. Um, and then the back of it are, you know, invocations, um, love and light invocations to protect you and to help you and get rid of negative energies and just to make you happy, right? Anyways, so I was stuck for two hours and I was calling them and I looked at the call log, how many times I called. I called eight times before they called me back within two hours of being panicked and anxiety ridden to the max of, oh my God, I'm getting a taste of the smart car, smart city, social app freezing my car experience right now. So this is why I made this uh, video for you so you can see what I'm going through and it's real and it happened and I didn't make it up. It's not fake. I will never show you fake stuff I, um, unless I'm 
like reacting to a video or I'm exposing something that's fake and maybe dangerous or, you know, a negative or, you know, bad or evil for y'all. That's the only time you're going to see me react to fake news or fake info or fake videos or fake people or fake institutions or fake beliefs and creeds, right? <laughs> because I love you. And because when we love each other, we do this for each other, you know? So here you go. Um, enjoy the video. It, it was horrifying for me. Here you can see I'm finally driving away and uh, getting closer to the VA to go use the latrine and then go home. Because I just called the... I, when I got off the phone with the state farm lady and guy, and they laughed at me, by the way. They didn't believe me when I told them, yeah, I just got a sample of the news telling us that they're going to be able to freeze our cars and bank accounts and not let us go anywhere um, if our social... Um, app score is low and they're like ah, <laughs> no that shouldn't happen and I'm thinking that's not cool and reassuring to me but you laughing at me but I didn't take it personally I just thought wow they don't understand so I just told them you know I don't really blame State Farm um, I know that it's Apple and my iPhone 15 Pro and I know it's the Bluetooth you know entities so they're like, yeah, that shouldn't happen. But if you'd like to talk to the tech and I, I was on hold to the tech, but I had to go and I needed to use the restroom and I wanted to go home from this frightful event. And then besides, I told the State Farm uh, guy that I'm going to go home so at least I can get home so this car doesn't freeze or glitch out. And um, please take me off this discount drive safe and safe app and you know i don't want it for 60 bucks because this is scary and it locked me up so i'm not interested anymore he's like oh and they try to reassure me and get me to still do it over and over politely and i just declined and i said no not right now but maybe if i ever want to do it and so that was a horrifying experience so you know i just share these experiences these breadcrumb trails spiritual trails or gnostic trails or metaphysical trails or loving wise godly trails of experiences with you so you can benefit and learn from my experiences and become a better version as i'm trying to help myself and my family and the world become a be better version and of course your brother and sister to me spiritually because we're all from the mother father god no matter no matter if we're conjured no matter if a conjured being is conjured by a good or evil witch uh shaman or whatever we literally all come source from source, the void, the core, out of there. And so we literally are, are, are all siblings. <laughs> so let's help the evil Loki uh, siblings become a better version if their heart flame didn't go out per the seven sacred flames. If that nine foot wide heart flame goes out, then they're considered a daughter son of, uh, they're considered a dark entity by the mother, father, God energies, creator source. And so then it's too late for them to ever raise their heart flame because it completely went out. So um, unless you're a dark entity, right, or an evil conjured being, you can't raise your heart flame, but you can be good in non-evil. You cannot do crimes even though you want to do crimes. I'm <laughs> speaking to the Lokis and about the Loki brothers and sisters. But Loki brothers and sisters, evil brothers and sisters are loved by the Mother Father energies, which is Source Creator, Divine All One, um, God, um, you know, and are this the Holy Spirit, the Spirit, the Great Spirit. It's all the same. It's all the same I'm talking about when I say Mother, Father, God. And in Huna, Lemurian life, um, under Lord Sunak Kamara, and I'm under my um, Lord Sunak Kamara's, we are under his leadership. He's an ascended master. And my Huna shaman, elder, founder of the House of Huna, is under him and was under, I don't know the name, under a shaman of the, one of the mystery school of this world. And uh, he was um, prophesied to become a founder leader of House of Huna. So I am under Huna Mauta Kumara, Kumara Taki from New Zealand, and he lives in Mexico now. So he is our leader and founder, our shaman, elder leader and founder under Lord Sunat Kumara, Ascended Master, and under his shaman of the mystery school and i forget the name it was on his uh huna flash tv channel youtube uh, it was on the description on there but i don't know if it is so you'll have to go to hoh.earth to find out the name of the shaman he is under um and i and i know he i think 
I think the shaman that he is under is still alive and he's one of our elders um, under my shaman elder, Huna Mauta Kumarataki. So anyways, here's my horrendous experience learned from and I love you so much and welcome to my channel if I didn't say that because I do forget to say that and I love you all so much and I love my own family and my anyone in the world equally and let's just become better versions of ourselves, okay? All right, so research, 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 and no, there's absolutely no mysteries ever. It's just you have to not be lazy spiritually and research and study and memorize and then practice what you learned because you can't become an ascended master or ascend your consciousness. That's what you're doing. You're ascending your consciousness in the matrix, okay? So you're ascending your consciousness and... You're accomplishing all these uh, goals and you're going to become like Mary Magdalena, uh, which is Lady Nada and Lord Sananda, which is known as Yeshua bin Yosef, Jesus. His name was never Jesus, but that's an actual covenant name made with the Shaitan, Satanic, uh, Illuminati, um, which they print in the book, um, organizations, right? The leadership, so whatever. Um, but love the Lokis, love everyone, and just help everyone become their version. And have a great day or night wherever you are on this planet, inside the planet, in the inner cities, or anywhere in the multiverse, on a starship, spaceship, whatever. I'm all about high technology. Please go to David Wilcock 333 um, channel, Corey Good's channel, uh, Matt Fraser's channel, Sylvia Brown's videos or channels, uh, her son's, I think it's Chris Dupreen or something, his channel. Um, please go to Magenta Pixie's channel, Ralph Smart's channel, Rex Bear's channel, Project Fear's channel, uh, Jeffrey Daugherty's channel. Um, I don't, I think his videos are still up and, um, go to the book of wisdom channel. I don't, he, he has several channels, but look up the book of wisdom, order the seven sacred flames, book of wisdom, order Sylvia Brown's books. Um, Order Egyptian Shamanic Mysteries books, um, order Gnostic, Godly, Wise, Loving, Masonic books and Book of Toth and, you know, Emerald Tablets and the Book of the Dead and read all those so you can ascend faster because the more we get in the law, the raw law of one book, order that, read that. The more we read all this stuff, the more it's going to uncode us. It's going to decode us of all the negative energies that we're going to ascend faster and get back our psychic, a telepathic teleportation abilities that we do have on the other side when we go home. Um, unless we're still in this experience. Um, but we're going to get all those abilities back and that's what's called ascension. Or that's what's called, ascension means soul evolution. Okay. Um they're interchangeable just like when you heal yourself you love yourself right just like when you love yourself you heal yourself it's a, it's just all the same it boils down to all the same energy frequencies and vibrations of meaning they'll just interchange the words they'll just create different words to distract you to flex to deflect from you finding out the different hidden truths uh, uh, hidden means esoteric esoteric means secret hidden so a cult word is not evil. Cult wor the cult word is not evil. Witch, pagan, warlock, wizard, wizard, mystic, shaman words are not evil. Um, it's just they want you to think it's evil. So you have to become really strong. And at first it's going to be super, super scary. And you're going to have a lot of anxiety um, following this breadcrumb trail. Like I went down and I'm still going down and through and like all the ascended masters, Buddha, Yogananda, uh, you know, Lord Sananda, which is Jesus, Yeshua bin Yosef, Mary Magdalene, mother of Mary, the stepfather Joseph of Jesus, Yeshua. They and all the other ascended masters, I'm not even naming, Lord Sanat Kumara, um, that's the ascended master, the Huna, House of Huna is directly under. Like all the female archangels are ascended masters, all the male ascended, I mean, archangels are ascended masters. They can actually hold a lot of different titles um, in the godly hierarchy of the mother, father, masculine energy, um, source, creator hierarchy. So know that. So and dragons are benevolent, but there are some evil dragons. Um, you know, there's we uh, anyone ha can be a fallen angel. In fact, we are fallen angels. The Bible is a metaphor. It's not to be taken literally except for the actual rare quotes of Jesus, Yeshua, and uh, who is it, John. And there was actually 
24 disciples, not 12. So there is 12 females and 12 males, and you can go to next, I believe it's next soul level or next level soul channel, and his guests explain that. Uh, you know, subscribe to the next level soul or next soul level, whatever. Subscribe to Billy Carson's uh, Forbidden Knowledge um, channel, buy Billy Carson's books, buy, you know, um, I was trying to think of more. But anyways, I didn't mean to make this video like 15, 16 minutes long, but I had to tell you this. So much love, namaste, wawa nui, that's what Huna say. Look that up, wawa nui. Look that up. Look up everything I'm saying, though. Don't just believe me. Just because I'm saying everything, you know, that I'm saying or anyone says anything to you, you have to research and look it up to see if it's true. And don't let people scare you away because they're going to be like, oh, no, that's evil. That's satanic. No. Just, just you know, hear them, but just go on your way and just go, well, I'm going to research and study and find out, like, 360 Pi View. Don't just take my word or anyone's word. Um, research everyone's word. Research everyone's opinion. Research all the books, all the titles. Research the bad side, you know, uh, demonology-wise. Like, no all their names and what the evil side believes and why they teach that know their creeds know their philosophies of the evil side not just the good side you know and know that balanced magic good magic is called gray magic it's not white magic and evil you know satanic magic is black magic or if you're you know if you're evil doing people your brothers and sisters wrong it's called black magic so and know that of course everyone's going to pay karma and get paid karma so you can have good karma decisions and choices and free will or you can have bad karma decisions choices and free will it's up to you and it and it's only you that's going to ascend you it's only you that's going to save you and be your own savior and be your own christ crystal mindedness crystal mindedness means crystal mindedness means you're going to be christ crystal conscious aware 24 7 365 in this lifetime and hopefully the future ones if not you're going to go backwards and descend yourselves self and descend your family because whatever you do rewrites your dna and your children's and grandchildren's dna of the future and then besides you know i teach on past life regression life charts and life contracts i learned that from sylvia brown and others right and you're going to be your future children and grandchildren that's going to suffer because of the wrong things you did as their parent and grandparent. So it goes like every four generations, but the same soul group you're in, everybody's in a soul group. We're all assigned to a soul group. Everyone of all existence is assigned to a soul group. And depending on the good and bad free will choices, negative, positive free will choices, because really no one's evil or bad, because we're all playing this game experience, video game movie willingly. We all signed up and said, yeah, I want to help do this, you know, exercise experience. So that's why no one's good, bad, or evil, really. I mean, yeah, benevolent. Like, if you're doing positive things, yeah, you're doing good. But anyways, so don't judge. Live harmlessly. And um, the Seven Sacred Flames and all Christ consciousness books and literature teaches not to judge. Even Yeshua said that, as you know, his so name's not Jesus, but even Yeshua said that. He's quoted as saying that in the the lion bible <laughs> and know that the lion and the wolves they're the ones that put together the books of what is called the biblia or the bible it's just research what i'm saying though don't believe me you know and it's and it's it's okay because you know it's best that i tell you this because i'm a you know i'm a channel of light and love so i'm not gonna lie to you and i know that saying that puts me at risk i know that but that's good karma for me. And I understand that, that if I'm going to be like a truth telling breadcrumb, truth telling leading channel, well, then that's part of it. And any of the channels that I subscribe to, I'll get death threats from the, you know, the, the govern mint, you know, so it is what it is. And, um, so be it. I've been killed a million times, trillion times, trillion, and a trillion years is like one second in infinity. So don't get all amazed like, oh my God, she said a trillion years. She said trillions upon trillions of past lives she's had. No, you have two. Everybody else has two, unless you did one life and you went back to the other side. 
because you don't have to keep on reincarnating. If you don't want to keep on reincarnating after you die or right now, you can say, look, I don't want to reincarnate here at this planet. Only other planets are not at all. I just want to stay on the other side and not be a part of this experiment anymore. Mother, Father, God, you're going to tell your spiritual guides and spiritual counsel of your universe because everybody has their own universe. Every planet has their own other side, by the way, I was told. So your other side for planet Earth or where you're originally from, you're going to tell your spiritual guides to tell the council, to tell the mother, father, God, I don't want to incarnate ever again in this experiment because you can sign up for millions of infinite, infinite amounts of experiments like this. Okay. So, and what you're doing is you're experiencing this to um, level up spiritually, like trillions of times faster. Um, you can just stay on the other side and still uh, level up spiritually in your knowledge and become a, you know, higher and higher, uh, graduated ascended master. You can, but it's a slower program unless you just really, you know, concentrate and learn it, but it's faster. If you come to this dangerous, murderous planet, and there's a few others like us, but we're the worst because you pay off your karma 10 times faster here and you, um, ascend, um, leveling up, graduating, um, all these different, um, like PhDs, right? In the Ascended Masters world, you're going to get more PhDs faster, level up faster here on this planet. And the few, like, I think there's one or two other planets that are murderous and chaotic and evil by the same leaders or the same type of leaders that I, f I forget where they come from, but I, I just, it's just one planet that's pretty close to us. And those are the ones that are here now making all this really evil, non-fun. <laughs> All right. Much love. Namaste. It's a long video, but I love you. And this is why I give you my time and energy. And um, like I said, welcome to my channel. If you would like to, you know, subscribe or thumbs up, go ahead. I'm, I'm not about, I'm all about my spiritual abundances. So I don't care about money. I've been wealthy many times in past lives. I know I'm going on. I was, you know, exiting this video, but just know I am conscious that I'm going to become an ascended master on like get so many tons of ascended master phds so to speak and ascend my consciousness and just know i know about all my not a, a lot of my past lives not all of course i don't think this mind uh, operating at 20 percent um unless it's operating at 100 percent can really you know whatever remember that but even so that's what the akashic records um for uh, are for so it's like the cloud it's like icloud.com that's what the <laughs> kashic records is like so you understand metaphorically and remember and remember everything is metaphor by the way okay it's hidden stories and messages for you to figure out so you can ascend faster but anyways i know i'm gonna i know that in order to qualify by the way to incarnate on this planet you have to have when you first started this to incarnate incarnate for the first time you have to have reached the seventh dimensional consciousness so in order to reach the seventh dimensional consciousness you already are an ascended master <laughs> so even if you incarnate one time on this planet from the other side you at least have to become a seventh level uh, dimensional consciousness being and you know to do that. If you research and study to be that level, oh my freaking God. That means you have been, you're an ascended master that has leveled up so, so high and so much to even qualify to come here to do one incarnation. To do that, oh my God, you have to level up so much, like trillions times trillions of years. So. Much love, namaste. Know that I love you. You are a badass shaman warrior. Be that shaman warrior. That just means so evolve, ascend yourself. That just means love yourself and heal yourself. That just means love your enemy equally, love your neighbor equally, and live harmlessly and non judgmentally. Because if you can't live harmless, harmlessly, which is non judgmentally, which is loving yourself and healing yourself and soul evolving, you will never ascend your consciousness. And you'll just be suffering yourself, suffering your children and grandchildren, and suffering your neighbors in the whole world. And you'll just be depressed and murderous and end up a serial killer, rapist, molester constantly. Or you'll just end up partying and being unhappy and never having fulfilling, loving relationships with yourself or anyone. And, and namely the mother father god and you'll just be literally hell means heel of your foot by the way i found out through the book of wisdom uh harry b joseph i think it's harry harry joseph 
uh, look up his book of wisdom. But hell means heel. That's the heel of your foot. And it, who wants to be under the heel of your foot? That is hell, right? And it is hell incarnating here. Incarnating, I'm sorry, incarnating here. Can't talk. But I know I'm getting off on tangents to ex exit this video, but I just have to say what I have to say. But just, it is fact that you are a badass shaman, or you can say witch or pagan or warlock or mystic or wizard or whatever warrior literally to qualify to incarnate one time let alone trillions times trillions so just don't believe the liars that try to tell you oh you're crazy no you're not crazy you just know better and get past life regressed uh go to godly shock psychics Go get readings at godly, with godly psychics that, you know, that are, that you vet, that you check out and make sure they are godly, they are loving and light, and they're not evil, pretending to be loving and light. Stay away from sociopaths, stay away from psychopaths, stay away from narcissists. See, narciss you can be narcissistic, which doesn't mean you're not a sociopath or you are a sociopath. It doesn't mean you're not good or bad. Um, so narcissistic is when we don't know we're being selfish and we're hurting ourselves and our children and grandchildren, others around everywhere, like our, where we work, where we live, where we go vacation, uh, where, you know, whatever. Um, so to be narcissistic unknowingly is very common and normal, by the way. And I know I was going to exit, but I have to tell you this. When spirit tells me to say it, I say it. So, um, you know, we're all narcissistic. We all make narcissistic uh, free will choices and that writes into our DNA to suffer to pay karma back for those choices but uh, rewrite your DNA and go get therapy or heal yourself start loving yourself you're not going to be narcissistic anymore you're going to be conscious like whoa I never want to do or say that or think that again so if you think do and say narcissistically it means you're not living harmlessly in yourself outward and you're hurting yourself and your children and family and friends and coworkers and neighbors and even enemies. So, and you know, enemies are narcissistic. That's why they're your enemies. But that just means the person is not consciously aware that, oh, I need to change. I need to get therapy. I need to love myself and see what that means and study what that means and then apply that. So a narcissist means you're actually confirmed that you are so far gone, so mentally ill, page 58 and seven sacred flames, that you are now diagnosed or known to be self-diagnosed a narcissist. That means you are unknowingly or knowingly or at the same time doing wrong free will, criminal acts, abusive acts, toxic acts, thoughts and words to yourself and others everywhere every day 24 7 365 and on that note i'm gonna end it finally love you all right thank you for your time again welcome to my channel i'm not greedy caring about views and thumbs up but i would like you to subscribe if i do help you it does help the algorithm um so thumbs up it please if you don't mind right now just stop pause and do that and subscribe if you would like to if i help you and um if you see me as an increasing because i don't use the word prayer or bless so if you see me as a spiritual increasing to you and your family and loved ones in the world just thumbs up all my videos go listen to it and watch all my videos now just remember though in the past um you know i i am human i do make uh mistakes so Remember that when you're watching my content from the first video till now and to my future content, okay? Please don't judge me. Please don't misjudge me. It's okay to lovingly, wisely judge to protect yourself and love yourself and on your children and family because we should do that. But don't misjudge. That's the negative toxic judging that I am teaching never to do. I am practicing. And yes, I know it can be hard, but we have to learn how to not misjudge and to judge in godliness in harmlessness so that we don't pay karma for misjudging because you will pay karma continuously and never ascend your consciousness in the matrix consciousness you'll never ascend that matrix christ consciousness into christ consciousness crystal consciousness if you misjudge if you wrongfully judge or negatively judge anyone anything 
at any time, 24-7, 365. Literally anything. Don't misjudge anything. So live harmless. Don't judge. Buy all the Christ consciousness books that, um, that are all metaphors and can teach you to uh, live right. And so you can ascend your consciousness and be happy and make your self and everybody else happy not that you can make people happy because only they can make themselves happy and your children can't blame you for their free will choices even since they're a baby they can't if if your children or you blame your parents or anyone blames any neighbor or parents or anyone in the family whether they molested you or killed you or tortured you or treated you well if you blame anybody you will never become an ascended master or ascend you will never be happy so just accept in every lifetime um, you made free will choices since you've been born as a baby till you die and that you can't blame anyone, any parent or any sibling or aunt, uncle or cousin or neighbor or stranger that you wrote in your life charts, your life contracts, because we write in everyone in detail. You can't blame or you want to send. Much love. Namaste. Bye, 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 bye. I'm really going now. Love you. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, 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 bye.